Hey guys, Kevin Theory here, and today we're on part 2 on how to paint an ultramarine assault intercessor. Now, on the last video, I set a like goal for this part 2 to be 5 likes. Now, we hit 6 likes, and the channel's never had more than 4 likes on a single video. And there's 75 of you out there that's currently subscribed to the channel. Now, if we get 5 likes on this video, I'm going to do a snow necron painting tutorial, which will probably be just one part because there's not as many paints as there is on this video. Now, here I've already started off this video and the paints by using some Bane Blade Brown on the base here and the small scripture right here. Now, you see this circle right there? We're going to put in a bit of Mephiston in red right there, just a bit, have a bit more colour on there and make it look like it's not just one single piece laying off the armor. With the Mephiston red on the top of the scripture, we've now run we've now brought a bit more colour onto that part of the model. Now if we go over to the gun over here, we have a plasma pistol. Now right here you can use low than blue, which is what I would suggest using if you want to make it like the box. Or what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some finesse in purple right here. So let's get to it. With the finessing purple added in, I've also put a little bit on the skull, right here on the chest plate. You might not be able to see due to the lighting and the angle, but it just brings out a slight more flair to the model. Now, onto the rims of the shoulder pads, right here and on the other side, we're going to use a Liberator Gold. Now, you want to be very careful here, and I would suggest doing the big plates, that's here, the big plate at the back, right there. I was just doing that after you do the small rims. So, let's go. Now, as you can see, the liberated gold rims on the shoulder pads do look really nice. And I've also gone back over some of the gold on the backpack. I've gone over that just to make sure there's no uh, paint lines. I've also done the small canister right there. Now, we're going to grab some dryad bark and do the casing for the chainsaw right there. We're going to come back over here, and we're going to do the hair right there. So, again, let's hop into it. Right, so with the dryad bark applied right here for the hair, and back here for the saddle patch for the chainsaw, we can now work on the base. Now, I'm going to be using Armageddon Dust, but I'm going to be using some Bane Blade Brown near the shoes and up on the legs to make it look like our sergeant has been walking through mud and dirt and all that sort of stuff and now he's leaping out of it. So I'm going to do my Bane Blade Brown, show you what it looks like, and then add the arm again dust. So let's go. So the Bane Blade Brown near the boot section, now as you see all the way around, I've also done under the shoes and I've tried to make it a bit messy but also a bit clean because we don't want to ruin anything that we've already done. So now I'm going to add in some Armageddon dust all around the base and I'm going to do it right underneath the shoes right there and there to make it look like it's sludging off as in it's still wet or it's still coming off him. So let's get it done. So as you can see my Armageddon dust is now drying and I've applied it all around the top of the base because there's not much point putting it here especially because it's still drying and we've put it on the handle and you can see I've tried to make it look like it's sludging off the boots or the soles of the marines um, armour now the thing with this it's going to take a while to dry I think it's about 40 minutes and because it's wet it looks like it's sludging a bit more but as I said it's only because it's wet now I have an Instagram page dedicated for this channel. It's the Flaming Furies, just like the title of this channel. And the image is a capital F on fire. And I'll be posting the preparations for before video things for such as Warhammer. And uh, any tabletop stuff that I'm doing. Or anything that's basically not on a PlayStation or a PC. So all that stuff that goes up there. Stuff that I want to do next. Or let's say something cel celebratory for a uh, hundred subscribers, because that's actually going to be a bit of a milestone for the channel. Even though we're quite close, and I know a hundred subscribers is a low number compared to other YouTubers, but for us it will be a big milestone. 
So things such as that will be on the Instagram page. It's a public page. And so far it just has a preparation for part one. But after the um, Armageddon dust has dried, I'll be putting a post for what part one would have looked like and what part two would have looked like if you're following on with this. But for now, thank you all for watching. At five likes, we'll do snow neck one painting video. But for now, I'll see you all later.